Welcome to Life Sutra. Today, we'll talk about 12 weird facts about agoris which are simply beyond your logic and perception. Who are agoris? Have you heard about them? Being in India, we most often come across them in streets, temples, etc. But how often do we make an effort to know who they really are? Agoris are sadhus belonging to an unconventional clan who are Shiva worshippers. While some believe that they have divine powers and others think they're sadhus with black magic which can harm people. But undoubtedly, they have a mystical personality. Let's take a look at some of the facts about agoris. Number 1. Accepting the Naked Truth Agoris are seen to be mostly naked and accepting of their bodies. You can see a gori in completely naked bodies covered in ashes from the dead bodies. It definitely scares some people while some people find it enticing. Number 2. No haircut. A gori's let the hair grow long and believe in no haircuts. After all, that is how we were born and what better way to accept a natural self. You will never see a gori in short trimmed hair. Number 3. Cannibalism. It is believed that the sadhus openly eat human meat. They eat already dead corpses and don't kill to eat and hence nobody questions them. Found mostly in numbers in Varanasi which is known for its holy practices. The sadhus are accepted for who they are. They are also known to eat garbage, human feces and also leftover food. Number 4. Shiva is everything. Agoris immerse themselves in the devotion of Lord Shiva. They believe that Lord Shiva is the answer to everything as he is omnipresent and absolute. They perform penance which is of three kinds. They are called Shiva Sadhana, Shiva Sadhana and Samshan Sadhana. Some people also believe that they are the incarnations of Lord Shiva. Number 5. Cure for all. Agoris are said to have cure for all the diseases. According to them the human oil that they take from the pyre when the body is being burnt is extremely powerful and effective. They claim that they have the medicines for even the incurable diseases. Number 6 meditating on a corpse. Agoris are seen to be meditating in a cemetery on a corpse. They also stand on one leg to meditate over a corpse just like Parvati the goddess standing on the chest of Lord Shiva. Now most of us dread to even go close to the cemetery or dead bodies so that definitely takes a lot of guts. Number 7 sex with the corpse. A gori is known to have sexual intercourse with the dead bodies. They say the reason is simply that they find purity in what is considered by the major population as filth. Also like the believers of goddess Kali they say that it is the deepest desire of the goddess that they have to fulfill. Also it is known to be believed by them that doing sex with the dead give them supernatural powers. Number 8 no hate in the heart. These sadhus share their food with the animals in the cremation ground. Be it be a cow or a dog, every life is the same for them and they believe the person who hates cannot truly meditate. So it's important to live hate free life for sadhus to meditate. Number 9 Sages and their ages. Kina Ram, the first agori who set grounds for the rest of the agoris, is said to have lived for 150 years, and his death happened in the late 18th century. Number 10. Survival facts. These sadhus survived the harshest and extreme weather conditions. They are known to live in the scariest jungles and also snow-clad mountains. They are also found in the hot deserts in conditions where normal human being cannot survive well. Number 11. Oneness of environment. Agoris believe that everyone has a gori in him or her. They believe that when a child is born, he or she doesn't distinguish between feces, toys and garbage. But the child later is taught what's good and bad according to the society and that is how it starts discriminating. Number 12. The facts about dark magic. Agoris are known to perform black magic but not to harm anyone or anything but they say that it heals them and increases their supernatural powers to talk to the dead. 
they perform a lot of rituals strange in the eye of a common man to perform dark magic.